Shalom and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. Greetings from Jerusalem. We're on the temple steps. We're going through the series of Shavuot and we're on part. I don't know what you can feel as you watch this, but it was a suddenly, it just felt the Holy Spirit was surrounding us, not simply by fact, not simply in faith, but by fact. Because today our title is God's Gifts, the Torah and the Spirit. Jewish tradition says God gave Israel the law on Shavuot, but there is no biblical proof for this most important event in Israel's history. Religious Jews stay up all night, many of them just around the corner at the, 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 the wall, the last remnants of the closest they can get to pray wasn't a wall of the temple it was a wall Herod's retaining wall but this area is the most holy site so religious Jews stay up reading the Torah all night so they will be ready to welcome the Torah at sunrise the next day today many religious people and some Messianic Jews revere the Torah so much that they even dance and kiss it during the holiday of Simcha Torah, rejoicing in the Torah. Now listen, while the Torah is a gift from God, giving us valuable instructions for life, and it enabled sinful people to approach a holy God in the ancient world, the greater gift is the Word that became flesh and wrote the Torah on our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Please, brethren, don't kiss the written word. Kiss by faith the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. So we're going to read John chapter 1, 14a. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And Acts 2, verses 1 through 4. When the day of Pentecost, or Shavuot, had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. What does it mean, fully come? Well, you know that the holidays here begin at sundown, so they go from sundown to sundown. So what we believe that fully come means is at the sunrise. Someone recently said that part of that understanding is the temple was covered with gold on the top, and there were kind of like spikes coming from the top, if you see the models of the temple. And so when the sun hit that gold, it was like it was fire. And that's why, could be why the Jews stay here, waiting for the sunrise. And why we're here at sunrise. Well, we want to pray that all of Israel will recognize and revere Yeshua much more than the Torah will revere Yeshua the word that became flesh. Father, Abba Shemayim, our Father in heaven, how do we thank you? How do we thank you for the incredible gift, not only of the Torah, yes, we thank you for the Torah, for without the Torah, we wouldn't recognize Yeshua. But thank you that you so loved the world, that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. And your word says that when they know your name, they would put their trust in you. Trusting you means praising you. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my sweet Redeemer's praise. Our heart yearns and breaks for so many Jews who do not 
understand and recognize Yeshua. They read their Torah. They read their Tanakh with the prophets and the writings, the Psalms. But they are still blinded. But oh God, we pray on this Pentecost, on this Shavuot, you will bring in a mighty, mighty harvest of Jews who will bend their knee and bow their neck with love, passionate, exquisite love for their Messiah, Yeshua. For it's in his name that we pray. Amen. And with that, I say Lehitra Ot, Shalom from Jerusalem.